हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन रेक्टिलीनियर फिगर्स एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट टू टिल क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन वी हैव डन ऑलरेडी नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी कंस्ट्रक्ट रॉम्बस पी क्यू आर एस हुज डायग्नल्स पी आर एंड क्यू एस आर एट सेंटीमीटर एंड सिक्स सेंटीमीटर सो डायग्नल्स आर गिवन हियर एट एंड सिक्स सो दिस इज एट मीन्स इट विल डिवाइड हाफ ऑफ फोर दिस साइड फोर दिस साइड Another diagonal is six centimeters, so it will divide three and three. And these diagonals for rhombus diagonals will bisect at ninety degree. Means this angle is ninety degree. This one also ninety. Here also ninety, and here also ninety. So this question also we will start with diagonals because we have only diagonal information. So first of all, we'll draw first diagonal eight centimeter. P to R eight centimeter. Then we will mark. We will mark its midpoint. Eight midpoint will be four. So we'll mark four centimeter. This is the intersection of diagonals point O. At this point O, we have to construct ninety degree angle. So we will keep our compass nib here, and in any one direction, we will construct ninety degree angle. First semicircle from zero degree, first arc is sixty. Then second arc will be one twenty. Sixty and one twenty we will bisect from sixty one arc, and from one twenty another arc. This we will get ninety degree angle. Now this line you can join. You can extend in both the direction. Another diagonal is six centimeter means three centimeter up and three centimeter down. So we will take three centimeter in compass, and from the center one arc we will put in the up direction. Another arc we will put in the down direction. so we will get another two points of this pal rhombus so p and this point will be q r and this point will be s now join all the four points write all the measurement this diagonal is 8 cm this is 6 cm and the angle is between them is 90 degree so our figure is ready question number 21 construct a rhombus abcd of side 4.6 cm and angle bcd is given 30 135 degree by using ruler and compass only so first we will draw rough figure Each side is four point six centimeter. This angle is given one thirty five degree. So first of all, base line we will draw four point six centimeter. A to B four point six centimeter. Now at B we have to construct one thirty five degree angle. So for one thirty five degree angle, first of all we will draw. First semicircle. After that, first arc will be sixty degree. Second arc will be one twenty degree. And from one twenty degree, third arc will be one eighty degree. We need here one eighty also. After this, first we will draw ninety degree angle. Ninety degree will come between one twenty and sixty. Ninety degree angle we will draw dot by dot because this is not the mean angle. This is ninety degree point, and this is one eighty degree point, and one thirty five will come between ninety and one eighty degree. So it is like forty five only, but in the opposite direction. 
वन आर्क फ्रॉम द वन एट्टी डिग्री एंड वन आर्क फ्रॉम द नाइन्टी डिग्री दिस इज वन थर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंगल नाउ वी विल टेक फोर पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर डिस्टेंस इन कैंपस एंड वी विल पुट वन आर्क हियर सो वी विल गेट पॉइंट सी एंड टू गेट दिस पॉइंट डी फ्रॉम ए फोर पॉइंट सिक्स एंड फ्रॉम सी ऑल्सो फोर पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर आर्क वी विल पुट सो फ्रॉम हियर फोर पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर आर्क एंड फ्रॉम ए ऑल्सो फोर पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर आर्क दिस इज पॉइंट डी we can join all these points write the measurement 4.6 cm each side and this angle is 135 degree so figure is ready नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्रेपीजियम इन विच ए बी इज पैरल टू सी डी दीज टू लाइन्स आर पैरल टू ईच अदर ए बी इज फोर पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर एंगल ए बी सी इज नाइंटी डिग्री एंड एंगल डी ए बी इज वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पैरल लाइन्स इज टू पॉइंट नाइन सेंटीमीटर सो दिस बी सी वी कैन टेक एस टू पॉइंट नाइन बिकॉज दिस इज द पर्पेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दैम so first of all we will draw one rough figure now we will start our main figure so first baseline 4.6 cm we will draw now we will draw one parallel line cd which is at a distance of 2.9 cm from ab so we will take 2.9 cm distance in our compass 2.9 cm distance we will take in compass and we will put two arc first arc and then another arc from b now top of these two arcs we will join we will get one parallel line like this so this is parallel line to ab now we have another information this angle is 120 degree this is 90 degree so at a we will construct 120 degree angle keep your compass at a and draw first semi circle first arc is 60 degree and second arc is 120 degree this is point d to get point c we have to construct 90 degree angle at b we will construct 90 degree angle first semi circle first arc 60 degree second arc 120 degree then from 60 and 120 degree we will put two arcs wherever these arc will cancel that is 90 degree angle so we got point c also our trapezium is ready you can write all the measurement this angle is 120 degree this is 90 degree this perpendicular distance is 2.9 cm question number 23 construct a trapezium abcd when one of parallel side ab is equal to 4.8 cm one of parallel side is given it means ab and cd are parallel lines height is 2.6 means perpendicular distance between these two parallel line is 2.6 bc is given 3.1 and ad is given 3.6 so first make a rough figure now we will start the main figure first draw the baseline ab 4 4.8 cm now we will draw a parallel line to ab at a distance of 2.6 cm so we will take 2.6 cm distance in compass 
measure 2.6 cm in compass and at a distance of 2.6 from A and B put the arc. Now join the top of this arc, we will get a parallel line. Next we have to find out the point D, for that we will take 3.6 cm in compass and from A we will put one arc. We can put here also and we can put in this direction also so any one you can put so this point is d a to d you can join now to find out point c we will take 3.1 centimeter in compass and from b at a distance of 3.9 put one more arc so this also you can put here also or you can put in this direction any one arc you can take. So this is point C. Now write all the measurement. This is 3.1 centimeter. This is 3.6 centimeter and the perpendicular distance between them. This is 2.6 centimeter. So our figure will come like this. Next question number 24. Construct a regular hexagon of side 2.5 cm. So for this construction we have two methods. First method. We will draw a circle of 2.5 cm. So because radius is here 2.5. So we will take 2.5 cm in compass. And we will draw a circle. Now on this circle anywhere you can mark a point A. Now each side of circle is uh, hexagon is 2.5 so with the 2.5 centimeter only start marking the arc. First arc then second arc third arc fourth arc and fifth arc. All these points we have to join and we will get a hexagon. So you can join all the points. This is the first method to get a regular hexagon. For the second method, we will do with the help of angle. So first we will draw 2.5 cm base line. And each interior angle of a hexagon is equal to 120 degree. So at A and B on both the points we will construct 120 degree angle. So keep your compass at B and first semicircle. First arc is 60 degree and second arc is 120 degree. Same thing we can do at A also. First semicircle, first arc is 60 degrees, second arc is 120 degree. Draw the lines in both the direction. Now this next side is 2.5 centimeter. So measure 2.5 centimeter from here and put one arc. Same thing you can do at from A also. So this is point C and this is point 
F. At C again 120 degree angle we will construct. Again semicircle. First arc is 60, second arc is 120 degree. And at F also you can construct 120 degree. So minimum 4 times 120 degree you make. First is 60 degree then 120 degree. Again this side will be 2.5. So take 2.5 centimeter. First arc. And from here also 2.5 centimeter. So this is point D and this is point E. You can join D to E. So like this also we will get a regular hexagon. Right measurement here. This is 2.5 centimeter. This is also 2.5 centimeter. Each side is 2.5 this angle is 120 degree and this is also 120 degree this one also 120 so our hexagon is ready this exercise also has completed hope you understood all these questions keep on practice yourself also thank you for watching this video